when all is said and done, not everything lasts. Yeah, um, I mean concerning, um, you know, the things that are manufactured and everything like that, and even the materials that are used for that, they don't last forever. And uh, this is what I didn't like about this: uh, how the West was won movie. Is it shows you that you know, at the end, it shows you, you know, this this you know farms farms uh with wheat and uh, and you saw uh, cities and highways and see what kind of big powerful nation we've become and how good we are and things like that and it gives you that impression that you know ever there's always going to be water you know there's always going to be um you know uh, cars and gasoline and you know, all these kind of things, that there's always going to be those things, so, you know, we should, we should be buying them, and, and, uh, it, it, it leads us into, uh, you know, a state of intoxic, intoxication. That's not even the word, is it? <laughs> intoxication, intoxication, that, that's a Dave word there. <laughs> that's Dave English. Intoxication, it leads us to becoming numb, yeah? The sensory sensory perception is numbified. There you go. Uh, we are, you know, we, we, we are under the impression that, well, these things are always going to be here. And that's not the case. Yeah? That, that's why I, what I was saying earlier is that in, in all these things that shows progress is really violation of the earth and the water, and the sun, and the wind. It's a violation of everything that's natural. It takes away homes from certain species. Yeah? And uh, it is horrendous because it's not really progress at all. It's retrogression. Yeah? We're Actually, we're going backwards. We're de-evolving because we're becoming more dualistic than ever. We're not evolving. You don't evolve in dualism. You de-evolve because of what I said earlier, that you don't see the fullness of reality when you're dualistic. And that's so evident in a dualistic society that thinks smartphones will always be here, cars will always be here, and that all these things will always be here and we just have to get them from the earth and the earth only has so much she's not making new resources there's only so much on the earth it's not going to last forever uh, but the more technological we become the more into denial we go that these things are going to run out that we deny that our progression is uh, at the expense of nature, at the expense of the earth. That it's violating, you know, that companies that make products that we buy are putting their waste products into the oceans, waters, and uh, it's all horrible. That's why I said we're de-evolving. And we're keeping in like with the more dualistic we become, the more we we find it easy to deny the reality because we don't even see most of it. These films, like I said, is propaganda and and you know trying to make it look like it's, it's always going to be here and so forth, and, and that's not correct. So it's brainwashing too. Yeah, it's saying. If you're American, look at how great you are, and that uh, you know we're always going to have this economy healthy. We're always going to have money. We're always going to to uh, have things and, and or, or the opportunity to achieve them. But it's not explaining the full story, and the full story is that. As long as we deny the other parts that are happening, that we're you know, we're bringing that next cleansing, and we 
you know, think that there's always going to be these materials to make things like smartphones and so forth. That they're always going to be here. And that's not true. That is absolutely not true. So, it's trying to program what it means to be American. And it's a way, it's, it's, a, it's another way of stereotyping. That all Americans are are good people and successful. And never do anything wrong. <laughs> and it's not true. It's absolutely not true. So funny, yeah, seeing a, a, a film that you saw as a little kid and, and, you know, you thought it was just outstanding and you see it later, and, you know, 30, 40 years later and you're like, gee, how could I even think that was good, yeah? <laughs> so, living in such a way that we're mindful of nature, you know, that we're mindful that, like our ancestors, we should just take what we need and that we give something back. And what today's industrial society is doing is just taking, 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 and also trying to force nature to do things against its will. It's a rape of the earth. That's what Western society is trying to do. This goes along with thinking that, you know, things are not going to run out and that we're always going to have an endless supply of all these things and this is not the way it is. Yeah. So, what I'm saying is that, you know, don't go extreme on this, but just use what you need, yeah? Take what you need, use what you need, and, and don't overdo it. Because remember, what you take is affecting your descendants. That's why in Lakota culture, you, when you take something, you give something to. You give something to. Because you're doing this for your future descendants. Yeah? That's why it's important to do. So, you're keeping, you know, lots of things in mind. Relatives you'll never meet, do it for them. That's part of our custom. And this is where Lakota people decide to do something. They always think, how is it going to affect the next seven generations? I always heard that. So that that's it's asking you to think about it, yeah? To think about whenever you take something. Do something to reciprocate it, yeah. Do something to give something back. Whether that's helping others or whatever, yeah, contributing to something. Because we're all connected. We're all on this earth together. So the more we try to get along, the better off we are. So it's important to get to know yourself. So when you meet somebody, you go beyond the skin color. Yeah, you go beyond that, and and you take the time to know that person because they might be a really good person. Yeah? So all I ask is that you think about it. I'm not asking you to agree with me or. I'm not telling you what to do. All I'm asking is that you think about it. Because reality begins within. So when you think about things, you're making a contribution. You're honoring the the earth when you do that. So I want to repeat that, you know, that you know what we need to, you know, start getting to know ourselves and coming to peace with, with our past and and that way we're setting up camp in our sacred centers. And so when we meet people we take the time to know them. Regardless of what color their skin is. Because you see that when you're uh, communicating from your sacred center you see that race is not important. Unfortunately dualistic people communicate from their skin color so to them it is but in reality it's not it's important that we live this way to learn about ourselves to come to peace with it enjoy blessings so 
so that we nurture our connection to the earth at the same time that we're doing this. And then we keep in mind things. And whatever we do, you know, like when we use the bathroom, we don't use a ton of toilet paper, then be flushing ten times. That's kind of a waste to realize how is this going to affect my descendants. When you see things like that, you know, from a really broad perspective, and to visualize future generations coming from you, and you think to yourself, wow, that that would be beautiful, yeah, if I could just see and hold my great, 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 great granddaughter. That would be so cool. You visualize that. That does something to you. It's like a medicine. That's wonderful. Because it's going to influence other things too. So anyway, um, this is how we nurture our connection to the earth. We see her as a, a mother. She's giving us what we need. And, and then we also see what big companies are doing. They put their chemical waste in local rivers and streams. And that harms the people who live in that area. And they could die from it. The companies don't care. They just want to make money. Those people, no matter what, no matter how rich they are, should the earth cleanse tonight, those people are going to be the first to go because they're not going to know where to go for safety because they're not communicating from their sacred hearts. If we can live this way, we can live with nature. We need something, we take it, but then we give something in return. So we keep that kind of a balance there because we're all connected. Yeah, so if we are sending out a healthy energy by living healthy, then we're connecting. That's cool. Yeah, that's really, really cool.